come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? in the pulsating purple, it's Melanie, the Rocket, Charles Woods. So we have three superstar world-class athletes from three different nations all battling out for Guts gold medal glory. Hello, everyone. I am Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. We're about to kick off today's world championship competition, but before we do that, let's go to our referee, Mora Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Hello, Mo. Hello, Mike. Team UK is tied in first place with Mexico. Israel is one gold behind the USA, and Portugal has one gold medal. Can Team UK vault into the lead? It's time to find out. Well, our competition has gone global, Mo, but this first event is completely out of this world. You want extreme? How about a zero-G race in space? Our players undergo horizontal training to prepare themselves for the rigors of racing at zero gravity. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero-G course. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is Nuno. All the way from Portugal, they call him the Wasp. And starting out, he's got nice time over the first hurdle. And heading out to the edge of nothing, he's going to have to lean out. You see, he's trying to stand up a little bit. You can't fight the gravity on this one, folks. you got to just give in. And keep running sideways. You see he's having trouble at that hurdle right there. He's trying to stand up. He's got to think horizontal and lay back down. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Mo. Nuno clocked in at 25.4 seconds. Looks like Mikey from Israel will be up next. On your mark, get set. Mo's ready and so is Mikey. And you see her leaning towards the ground, thinking horizontal. Let's see if she can pick up some pace. Around the first hurdle, that's where the Wasp had some trouble, and here we're at the edge of nothing. This is where the Wasp tried to stand up, but not Mikey. Mikey from Israel coming into the second hurdle. She didn't have a lot of speed. She's going to have to hustle. We're coming across. If that's official, she's in the lead. Let's go to Mo and get the official time. Mo. Mikhail clocked in at 23 seconds even. Up next from England. Melanie the Rocket Charlesworth. On your mark, get set. Her nickname is the Rocket. And blasted off the Rocket. Continuing her way around the first hurdle. Coming to the edge of nothing. And around she goes. 23 seconds, the time to beat. And the Rocket is picking up a turbo booster. First place points if it's a big shot. Melanie clocked in at 18.6 seconds, which places her in first, Mikhail in second, and Nuno in third. Well, what's up, G? Zero G can't fight fate. When you are lost at the edge of nothing, you got to keep your cool. Mikey, around the corner of the edge of nothing, she was in first place after her finish, but with the Union Jack frame and her space helmet, Melanie, cool, calm and collective like a Rogers Lemons fastball at the speed of light. The rocket rocks on to first place points. Mo, what's our leaderboard look like? It looks like this, Mike. Melanie from the UK is in first place with 300 points. Mikhail from Israel is in second place with 200 points. Nuno from Portugal is in third place with 100 points. And the math is simple. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. Now let's meet a Portuguese <laughs> player who's on a mission to rise above the competition. Nuno, the wasp. Spill your guts. 
I'm Luna Correa from Lisbon, Portugal. My favorite sports are soccer, skating, and bodyboard. I prefer playing soccer because it's a team sport. To be champion, you gotta be extreme. You gotta push it to the limit. And you gotta be like me. My favorite athlete is bodyboarder Mike Stewart because of his radical moves. He gets respect. Well, we have assembled the world's toughest terrain for our international cross-country race tornado run. Our global athletes must cross a hot steaming stream, then make a turn through that, and then fight through a pulse-quickening quake. After they make that turn and hold their balance, they gotta then make it through those vicious vines and make the final turn to shoot through that swirling swamp fog to the finish. Let's go to Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the track, negotiating each obstacle. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Nuno needs a quick start. Because Nuno goes into this event with 100 points. He's in third place, but he will set the pace, and he makes it through the quake, no problem. You see him picking up speed as he fights through the vines, finds a hole, finds another one, crawls through. Almost got tripped up right there, but he's going to have to pick up the pace through the fog. He's hesitating as he makes it through the fog. Let's go to Mo and check out the official time for Nuno, the Wasp. Nuno clocked in at 24.2 seconds, Mike. All right. Up next is Mikey. On your mark, get set. She's from Israel. Mikey almost false started there, but she can't be hesitant as she makes it through. The stream into the quake. Oh, you see how that moves? She takes a digger right on top of that, but she's fine. Now remember, we have stunt coordinators with our players at all times, and our players are wearing safety equipment. She looks to be fine as she makes it through the vines, but looks like her foot is stuck in the vines. Making it through another hole there. She's gonna have to dig through. And she's summoning the guts to finish this race after that fall through the fog. And across the finish line, she'll go on and hang out with Nuno when we go to talk to Mo for the official time. Mo. Ricard clocked in at 35 seconds even. Up next, our leader, the Rocket. On your mark, get set. The Rocket. In first place with 300 points. Let's see what she does in the quake. You got to really time your movements here. And she makes it through with firm footing. 24.2. This Rocket. Jettisoning herself, shedding this mortal coil, turning up the tornado oil. Let's go to Mo. Melanie clocked in at 21.1 seconds, which puts her in first place, Nuno in second place, and Mikhail in third place. Well, Tornado Run will furnish you with the obstacles, and you got to be fast and fearless. You saw those vicious vines holding up the wasp. And the wasp then got stung by the swirling swamp fog juice. Let's go to Mo and check out where we stand now. Mo. Well, Mike, Melanie from the UK remains in first place with 600 points. And tied in second place with 300 points each, Nuno from Portugal and Mikhail from Israel. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we stand after two events. But when we come back, they won't be twisting. They'll be plunging the pool and rocking the ring. Slam dunk. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Guts, where three players from three countries still vying for a piece of our glowing radical rock. But right now, we're going to unveil the tale of an all-star from Israel. Hey, Mikey, Waldman, spill your guts. Hi, my name is Michelle Waldman, and I'm from Haifa, Israel. My hobbies are music, hanging out with my friends, horseback riding, and riding my mountain bike. What I think makes a good athlete is effort and desire, but the most important thing is believing in yourself. I'm very happy to be here because it's the first time I've traveled away from my country. I'm proud to represent Israel at Global Guts. All right, you think you get some monster rides on a kneeboard, try pounding a little of our killer curl in Boogie Down. Our players are going to be shooting through the super surf of our global guts pool, seeing which country's players can really rip it up. You want your rules? I got you my mo. Mo! 
way. In this event, each player will pull themselves across the pool and high-five the spotter at the end of the pool before turning around to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Okie dokie. Stepping up first and almost capsizing there. You'll see our man Nuno. And Nuno's board is completely submerged in the water. That's really affecting his time. He's got to get his balance back and lean back. You see the touch to the spotter. He's leaning forward too much. He's got to balance out his weight and continue to focus on pulling one arm over the other so he can come in with the finish. He will set the time right here for our other players to challenge. And with the reach, let's go to Mo and find out the official time for Nuno. Nuno clocked in at 36.1 seconds, Mike. All right, 36.1 is Nuno's time. Now, he was tied with Mihail, and stepping up next is Mikey. She's in the water and looks like she's ready. On your mark, get set. Mikey! And look at the focus and determination and the grit of this young lady from Israel. Blazing through the water, creating her own waterway and trying to pick up the pace. Now, this event takes incredible stamina. As you see, she really blasted out at the beginning, but she's losing her grip right there. She's got to finish the race, and she's pulling and tugging her way to the touch of the spotter. And almost lost it there at the end, but she had the guts to finish. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time. Mikhail clocked in at 27.4 seconds. Stepping into the pool, or should I say being lowered into the pool, is our leader now. Melanie looks to be ready. On your mark, get set. The rocket. Let's see if she keeps herself from submerging the boogie board and boogieing down. She has a perfect game on the line. With first place points in our first two events, she's going to have to really hustle back. 27.4, the time to beat. Let's see if she can hang on. You see her pulling herself through. She's got to make it across, and it looks like she's not going to make it. She's now going for second place points. 36.1, I believe, is Nuno's time. This is really going to affect the standings now. We'll now go to Mo and find out the official time. Mo. Melanie clocked in at 34.6 seconds, which puts Mikhail in first place, Melanie in second place, and Nuno in third place. So stepping up and looking down was Mikey. She had the fine form, hand over hand, completely focused, stamina, and a tenacious look on her face. Look at that grit and teeth. She was about ready to gnaw through that rope, but the only thing she took out a bite out of was first place. Let's go to Mo now. Mo. Melanie from the UK is in the lead with 800 points. In second place is Mikhail from Israel with 600 points. In third place is Nuno from Portugal with 400 points. So that's Boogie Down. Now let's find out about a gravity-defying superstar from Team UK who's blasting off to Global Guts Glory. Hey, Melanie, the rocket. Time to spill your guts. Hi, my name is Melanie Chalzer, and I'm from Basel, England. I'm on the UK team. My favourite sports, swimming, diving, football, and of course, karate. Here are some trophies I won at diving. But this one's one I love most, so I've won it four times. My ultimate dream is to dive in the Olympics, and I'm going to do it. Yeah! Well, they are slam dunking in Boston, Barcelona, and Berlin. But nowhere do they go as high as in the extreme arena. Our players going sky high, rocking the rims in slam dunk. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up, and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible. And baskets only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. On your mark, get set. The leader in this game. As they all go up and make a hoop is the Rocket. In purple, as you see, going up strong is Nuno. Nuno needs a first place finish. He has 400 points and going up strong. In addition is Mikey in red in this event. Oh, look at that thunder dunk. You need leg power, you need release, and you need quick turning movement. Rhythm and 
motion. Nuno scoring one. The Rockets scoring another one. She just threatened the needle. That's a one-handed throwdown from Nuno. And there's Mikey in red. She goes up and off the backboard. Off the And look at the nice move with the finger roll. But she, take a look at the Rocket. Oh, putting that one in. A little bit too tough. So with time running out, all of our players scoring heavily. And Mikey with one at the buzzer. Let's go to Mo. Tied in first place were Nuno and Melanie, who scored 10 baskets each. And in third place, Mikhail scoring six baskets. So the Rocket launching off the aerial launch pad with yet another thunder dunk. And another first place finish. Oh my, she's been doing magnificent work all day long. And yesterday during practice, I had time to catch up with Melanie the Rocket. Take a look at this. How'd you get that nickname, Rocket? Well, when the countdown's done, I'm off like a rocket. <laughs> you hear that? When the countdown rocks. <laughs> but right now it's time to take a look at the leaderboard and check out where we stand. Let's go to Mo. Melanie from the UK remains in the lead with 1,100 points and tied in second place with 700 points each, Nuno from Portugal and Michal from Israel. So that slam dunk, four events in the bag to get the Global Guts gold, one more snag. The Super Afro Crag, stick around when we come back, they will fly! Welcome back to Global Guts, where three countries are battling out for Global Guts glory. We're at the crag, and the points have gone through the roof. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's see where we stand. Mo. After four events, Melanie from the UK is in the lead with 1,100 points and tied in second place with 700 points each. Nuno from Portugal and Michal from Israel. That is where they stand now. How they got there. We start off with Michal jumping up and over the edge of nothing. Digging up the pace, he took 200 in second place because first place went to the Rocket. That's Melanie crossing the finish line. In a tornado run, watch these guts. Mikey taking a face plant. Big time digger on the quake, but she got up and finished and a moving machete made out of purple. With the Union Jack on her hat, she came across. That's the Rocket, another first place finish. And then we get into Boogie Down, where pulling himself across was Nuno. And victory went with the touch to Mikey. And then we get right into a little slam dunk, Thunder Duncan. First place points for two of them. And now the competition is really going to heat up, ladies and gentlemen, because we are now at the crag. First it was the aggro crag, then it was the mega crag, now the super aggro crag, filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, avalanche ledge, ultra sharp spires, rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo, up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be climbing, facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want rules? I'll give you mo. mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points, Mike. And so now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Let's get it started. Boom! On your mark. Get set. And with the whistle, the venomous vapors will try to slow our players down. The mountain is alive. Mikey slipping and switch back there. To be in the lead right now in purple is Melanie. It's blue. You know, at the snow. Oh, Melanie missed that actuator. She's got to go back down. We got the gold on the line. It's blue. Oh, and the 
actuator all the way down at the bottom. We'll have to find out what the official result is from Bob. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Nuno from Portugal. In second place, Melanie from the UK. In third place, Mikhail from Israel. Mikhail did not hit the last boulder in Boulder Canyon and got an automatic third place. So the mountain is tough all over, even at the beginning. You gotta hit every step of Boulder Canyon. She jumped off right there. There was one more step to hit. That gave her an automatic third. Going up the ice wall, the rocket Melanie in purple to the right of your screen was in the lead. But she had to go back down the crag and suffering sheets of snow didn't stop Nuno. He wasn't even sure where he was at the top. He's hitting red, he's hitting blue, but the bottom line is he got to the top first. Let's go to Mo and find out our final leaderboard standings. Mo. In third place today, Mikhail from Israel with 1,075 points. In second place, Nuno from Portugal with 1,425 points. Our winner today, Melanie from the UK with 1,650 points. And so for our award ceremony, taking home the bronze back to Israel will be Mikey in red. Getting the bronze medal, Mo saying, scoop down, I want to give you this medal. She will bring that back home and show the proud people of Israel that she has competed here. She won Boogie Down. She's bringing back the bronze. Nuno, our man in blue, all the way from Portugal. He will take back the silver medal back to his home country of Portugal. And victory, the Global Guts Gold and Global Guts Glory. We'll go to Melanie, the rocket, blasting off with victory here today. She stands perched atop the medal ceremony platform, waving to the crowd of the Extreme Arena. She will hold a glowing piece of our radical rock to show that she is a champion here on Global Guts here today. All the way from the UK, yeah, Melanie, rocket, you're number one. Now our players, take a well-deserved victory lap around the extreme arena. Getting their respective countries flags from their coaches. Listen to this extreme arena roar. These three fantastic athletes take a well-deserved victory lap around the extreme arena. Another exciting competition here. Global gut style. Gold goes to the United Kingdom. Once again, no ins, ands, or buts. Man, these kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.